Okay, so the description reads, given an array of integers, nums, a pair of ij is called good if nums of i equals nums of j, so the values at those corresponding indexes equal each other, and i is less than j, return the number of good pairs. So uh, this is like an easy problem if you just brute force it, but um, there's a clever solution, and I wanted to go over that with you guys after we go over the brute force. So the example here is there's four, so we have this equals this, so that's one, this equals this, that's two, the three equals the three over here, and these ones. So that is four good pairs, and this is six. So if we look, well, first let's brute force this. So the brute force is pretty easy. Um, so let's create good pairs equals zero. And so the brute force obviously is we're just gonna loop through every uh, possible iteration. So we're gonna set i here and j here. Um, j is always gonna be i plus one because we don't wanna start them at the same. We wanna check it after i. And then we're just gonna loop through. So it's gonna be o of n squared runtime. And i less than nums that length. So this is a very easy solution. Um, there's a, definitely a more clever solution that's faster. Oh, okay, so I already messed up. So like I said, it needs to be i plus one. We can't start them at the same place. And j greater than, and this needs to be um, nums at length minus one, I believe because we can't we don't want it to be it, i can't be the last number because j is going to be the last number so we can't do that and i believe this should work um <clears throat> so if nums of i which just type it out equals num to j then uh, we're going to increment good pairs and return good pairs Okay, let's see if it worked. And it is taking way too long. Let me refresh the code. I'm actually just gonna turn off my VPN, see if that helps. Okay, let's try it again. Cool, so let's submit it. And so now I wanna go over the um, more clever solution that's a little bit harder to think of. Um, so if we look here, if we have four ones, there's um, six. So I'm gonna write this out. So if we have say four fours, the good pairs equals six for just these pairs. Um, so how did we get that? We got um, these two, this one, and then this one, and this one, and this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. So um, if you guys know, this is the com this is just combinatorics. Um, there's a, a a formula for that. So we have combinatorics so it is n minus 1 times n all divided by 2 and I'm going to rewrite that n minus 1 times n divided by 2 so um, <clears throat> Here would be, uh, we have four, so three times four. So we should put these in their own, divided by two. We get 12 divided by two equals six. So that's, um, we would just need to basically code this out um, and account for all the frequencies of the same numbers. Um, so let's do one more uh, example, so it makes sense. So, um, we have three now, so n minus one, so two times three 
divided by 2 equals 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And um, so let's go over the, let's see it, check if this is right. We have these two. We have this one and this one, so that's two. And then we have this one and this one. So it is right. This is the correct formula. We just need to um, create an, a the code for it. And I'm sorry, I actually can't make this bigger because it's the size of my iPad. I don't think it lets, yeah, I can't increase, make it in, in their full screen. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't make it any bigger. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so let's code this out. Um, so we're going to need, first we're going to need an array of frequencies, um, and let's create it at a length of 101 for the length down here, and I need to zoom in. So this is going to be constant space complexity because uh, it's a very small size limited size so now we're just going to fill the frequencies so we want to let me go over this on the whiteboard so we're going to want to our frequencies is going to be an array whoops so we're going to have zeros we're just going to put the frequencies where they belong and we're going to add them up so if we have uh, three threes we're just going to put three here the rest are going to be zeros and then we're going to loop through the frequency array and um, calculate this uh, formula for each for the number at that frequency and add it to good pairs um, that's how we're going to solve this that should make sense made sense in my head actually I less so we're going to loop through 101 and I plus we're gonna loop through 101 because that's the possible numbers in um, in the so nums of I the values is goes up to 100 so we're just gonna loop through 101 so let's we're going to this is where we're going to set the frequencies for the characters uh, no. So nums of i plus plus. Okay, so now we have our frequencies set, and now we need to loop through our um, frequencies. Actually, this is nums dot length. Um, that was incorrect. This one's one hundred one. So because we have 101 values in frequencies, we're just looping through the array in down here. Um, so we're just looping through the length. And so now we want to, if frequencies of I is greater than one, that means we have good pairs. Um, so it's saying, let me pull up my whiteboard try and get it next to the code if if there's a say there's a one here just a one um, there's no good pairs because there's it's not possible for that value to equal another value that's the definition of a good pair so it has to be greater than like this this right here and then we're going to execute the our function up here we're gonna write it right below this if statement and add it to good pairs so <coughs> Um, let's do exactly that. So good pairs plus equals. So we have uh, frequencies of I minus one times frequencies of I. And all that's divided by two. And then we just want to return good pairs. So let's see if that works off the first try. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. So I just want to show you guys, see this is much faster, 100%. Um, it's just O of N, so it's linear. 
And I don't know why the space is. We're just doing a very small array. Anyways, let's try and submit it one more time. Yeah, there. Sweet. I feel like it's so arbitrary. Like every time it does this. Um, so I just wanted to go over this formula. It's. I feel like it's easier to spot it if you already knew about it. So there we have our combinatorics um, formula. I write it out one more time. So it's. Oops. It's n minus one times n, and all of that is divided by two. So that's like for common combinations. Um, <clears throat> If this video helped you guys, please smash that like button. I post videos every weekday, so subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.